Hey everyone, Marty and Zach here from PAX East 2016. Uh, Zach, we've seen a whole bunch of video games. That's true. Uh, upwards of 12. Upwards of 12. Yeah. No more than 13. Uh, you saw one that I'm really, uh, really jealous of. You saw Let It Die, which is a new game from Super 51. What's I the deal did. with it? Uh, I did see it and he was there watching me play, which is very intimidating. <laughs> um, no, it's really cool. Uh, it's a very interesting game for Super yeah. 51. Uh, I think it's, it's trying some new things. It's a free-to-play Pseudo roguelike. Pseudo roguelike. Pseudo roguelike. Fifty one. Uh, inspired by Dark Souls. Uh, it's a really cool game. You start off. You're playing through this tower. Mm -hmm. You start off in your underpants, which is always hilarious. Uh, you fight a bunch of mutant enemies, and there's a lot of like loot drops. You yeah. can equip different kinds of gear. Just in my playthrough, I found a sword, a crossbow, a baseball bat, a chainsaw. Is there? Are there like stuff? Are there like cosmetic drops? Like if you are you always in your underwear? If you find like a shirt, can you put that shirt on? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like I had a uh, the top half was like a suit of armor. My yeah. bottom half was just like some athletic pants. Uh, a suit of armor. Yes. Um, no, there's different. Like you can. In very much like the roguelike sense, there's a lot of different stuff that okay. drops, and you can equip it and you know play through the game. Is the combat like fast paced? Is it slower? Is yeah, it like so Dark Souls? It is. It is a lot like Dark Souls. It is a little bit floaty, honestly. Yeah. Like I feel like they need to tweak some of the combat just to make it feel a little more impactful. Mm -hmm. But yes, it's very much based in the Dark Souls fundamentals of like parrying, mm -hmm. uh, dodging. Yeah. Uh, one thing that, that this has over Dark Souls, or or differently than Dark Souls, I should say, is that uh, just a myriad of weapons yeah. that you can use. Uh, at any given time, you can equip six different weapons. You nice. can dual wield at all times. So you can find some weapons that are that require the use of both hands that are stronger weapons. Yeah. Like I found a uh, sort of a Masamune blade that nice. they were extremely stoked that I found. Yeah. Because um, I, I kind of just wreck shop with it. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so I mean, I played most of the demo holding a baseball bat and a chainsaw mm -hmm. at the same time. You can kind of... As one does. Yeah, you can yeah. kind of choose between which to attack with to combo. Nice. Yeah, yeah Suda's an interesting dude. Like, I, I, my career, or sort of my thoughts with him range from Killer7, which is literally one of my favorite games of Top all notch. time. Top notch. And then game. I like and appreciate stuff like uh, No More Heroes and Lollipop, Lollipop Chainsaw. Chainsaw. But then there was, like, Killer's Dead came out a little while ago, and I really didn't like that. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I feel like he's still, like, everything he makes is still super interesting. Yes. And so I'm really excited for this. The one weird thing is, like you said, it's coming exclusively to PS4 later this Correct. year. But it's free to play. Right. Right. Uh, do you know at all like how the free-to-play stuff is going to actually come into play? Um, they didn't talk too much about that. Yeah. Um, they mostly said that there would be things to pay for, like cosmetic upgrades and unlocks and stuff like that. Um, one of the really interesting things about it is it is procedurally generated. So you have these different points that you need to hit to progress through the game, but the paths to get there are completely procedurally generated. Okay, interesting. Yeah, and um, one of the, the best parts about it, one of the most interesting things that I saw was as characters are killed off in this world, uh, basically their ghosts are left behind and you can okay. face off against them. So like I was wandering through and I found a random enemy that was uh, at a higher level than I was and had better gear, and he was just waiting for me in, like this, in this corridor. Yeah. Uh, so that, there's some really interesting stuff at play. One thing that I, I did find, uh, one thing that they are definitely keeping under lock and key right now is uh, narrative. Okay, which whatever is this game's about. Super yeah. important to yeah. a Suda51. Suda important. God damn it. <laughs> uh, but it, it is very important to yeah. a Suda51 game, and they were not talking about any of it. So I'm, in, I'm really intrigued to see what. What kind of narrative is at mm -hmm. play here? Because when you die, and I died a few times, yeah. um, it, the camera kind of zooms out, and you see this really high-tech sort of neurological interface and around it, the screen. Yeah. So it was kind of like, is this, this a VR thing? thing. Is, yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Is this a game within a game? So I don't yeah. know. Some some interesting stuff there. Yeah. Uh, sounds cool. Sounds weird. Uh, we're going to have more on that, obviously, up through the fall at its release, uh, right. free to play. Or if you want to play it now, you can just listen to Feist's album, Let It Die. Wow. You probably shouldn't do that because they're probably very different. Uh, for everything else, record. let it die in Suda. You're already in the right place. IGN.